Hey friends, Joe the Farmer here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the Bighorn 400 machine. This is a super cool, more compact machine than the Bighorn 550. We just did a review on this one, kind of like the 90-ish day review. I think it's more like 100, but talk about the things we like and the things we don't like. Both of these machines were provided by Bighorn. There's no commitment to us being nice about them or negative about them or anything. They just said, take these machines. We like your channel, use them on your farm beat them up, do whatever you want to do with it, and tell your audience what you think. We just shared a lot of valuable information about this one, and in today's video, we're going to talk about this one. Now, this one's a little bit smaller, and, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm 6'4", and, you know, this is a great machine for big people because it is super comfortable. This one's a little more compact. I can drive it perfectly fine, but for someone who may be 5'10", 5'11", 6'1", 6'-foot-ish, um, maybe even smaller people, uh, you know, Clay likes to drive all these machines around. He loves just, you know, the side-by-sides, the four-wheelers, just about everything we have out here. So this is not a recommendation. This is not made for 10-year-olds, but, you know, all of my kids have been driving really since they've been riding bikes. This is nothing new to them. He's ripped around the farm on this thing plenty, but I think that this thing is probably going to be more his size and Holly's size. This is 400 cc's, 396, I believe, and this one's about 500. So this is a bigger machine, more towing capacity, uh, more ability to put weight in the bed. And it's a little bit more stable, especially on hills with weight and everything, because it has a wider stance. We're going to get into showing you a quick walk around of this thing, tell you uh, first impressions, and it's brand new. We have no clue. I think it has like two hours on it, you know, and that's probably from being manufactured. So, Clay, you excited? Very. I'm excited. Let's get into this video. Okay, so this is the Bighorn 400. So you can buy this at Tractor Supply. They also sell a lot of different other places. Uh, we started our relationship with Bighorn because this machine over here, the 550, is exclusive to Tractor Supply in certain states and certain territories, uh, but also to a dealer network. So you won't find these at like Lowe's or Home Depot or uh, RK, Rural King, or any of those other stores. It's just gonna be Tractor Supply or dealer network. This one, I believe you can find in other places, but this one, surprisingly you know you're not gonna find any information on this one really yet because it's still brand new but this one has had unbelievably positive reviews walking around this machine uh, super cool headlights these are LEDs also there's an LED little ring that goes around there when you turn on the turn signals that will actually illuminate and go from white to orange which is super cool you know again nice touch and stuff like this can't really see it right now because it's blazing hot out here it comes with rear view mirrors uh, side mirrors does not have an up or a rear view mirror in the center. I do have a windshield back here that we're gonna install on it here, and we'll do that probably in another video. You know, dump bed, watch your fingers, Clay. And it opens up to the engine, Continental battery, you know, nice battery, great shocks. It has a Delphi fuel injection, looks like. Airbox is easy to get to. You know, very, very clean, clean machine. So watch your fingers, bud. Now this bed is actually metal. We know this because we were having some fun with, you know, student driver sticker. <laughs> Sorry, Bighorn, didn't mean to cover up your logo there. There we go. The way you open the bed, this one latches, comes down. Again, you know, don't, Clay, don't ride in the bed. Can't have people doing that. Nice little headrest. This one latches with a center latch. So if you need something that's gonna be a little bit bigger of a bed or something latches, you know, a bit beefier, you know, you can go with something like this. But a machine like this is going to be a little bit lower to the ground than this. And you can't tell on video, but just by looking at these wheels, it's a much more narrow stance. Still has independent suspension. You know, you can see the beefiness of the suspension on this machine versus that one. But again, there's a, you know, about a $3,000 price difference between this machine and that one. If you're just looking for something to get to the mailbox, you know, take the grandkids around, ride around your property, check fence lines. This is a great machine for doing that. I think Clay and I should go for a ride. You want to drive or you want me to drive? I drive. Okay, Clay's going to drive, and we're going to go for a little ride, and I'm going to see how I fit in this thing. Looking at the dashboard, you know, little horn. I don't know if that horn will work. There you go. I disconnected the backup alarm in here. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. But four-wheel drive, push button, two-wheel drive winch, locking differential, turn signals, high, low lights, all the different things. This machine has 2.3 hours on it, so it's brand new. All I did was put fuel in it, and then it has a hand, you know, automotive style handbrake that Clay's gonna undo, even though it's, there you go. All right, start her up. Yeah, 
Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, that's right. I should probably shut the bed. Rookie mistake. Man, I'm supposed to be the pro here, right? So definitely a louder machine. It's not quiet. That's something I read in reviews. But as you can see, I'm, I'm a tall guy, and I've got plenty of headroom, so I don't feel like I'm too small in this, or this machine's too small. All right, complete stop. So what we want to do is we want to keep these RPMs around three to 5,000 because it's brand new. And while you're braking in an engine, you want to make sure that you have kind of the, you want to vary speeds, but you also don't really want to give it, you know, get it in the red too much. Yeah. So go ahead and go in high, but keep an eye on the RPM. So we'll, yeah. we'll be going a little bit slower than this thing can go. That's okay. Y'all have to see us go, you know, really get going on this thing in another video, but we're going to break it in and do the right thing. We're going to stop here in the shade and talk a little bit about <laughs> about the first drive of this thing, really. Um, shade is your friend. I love shade. And this old tree, which this is a beautiful part of the farm. I don't know if any of you have ever seen this before, but this old tree has been here for a long time. And this is an old Civil War wall. So, you know, soldiers would have stacked that and hid behind it. And if you look really close, you can find some bullet holes and stuff, which is kind of unique. Anyway, we're not here to talk about Civil War walls or big trees, but we do like the shade. First impression is... I, I think it has, like I'm, it almost fools you with how much power it has because it's, it feels way more powerful than a 400cc machine. Now it's lighter, it's about 1100 pounds, so it's not a very heavy machine, but you know, Clay's about 300 pounds himself and I'm, <laughs> I'm a small man, so, uh, uh, sure. so it drives very confidently, but there's a lot of responsive feedback from the suspension. It comes right back in the steering wheel and there's not a lot of beefiness or weight to this thing to really dampen any of that. Looking under this hood, I did want to show you all that. This hood isn't like the other one. This one actually just comes off completely. Here's your uh, coolant overflow reservoir. This is the alarm. This is the backup alarm, which I've already unplugged. You all know me, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to handle that kind of beeping. And you know, this is just molded plastic. You know, this is not a spill, it kind of looks like it, but this is really just where different colored plastic melted together. Coolant, you have a relay. I mean, super clean, simple machine. And if you're not very inclined to work on stuff, you know, you're not really, you know, handy when it comes to that kind of stuff. And let's be honest, not everybody is, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you are okay working on machines, um, very, very simple. You got your starter, again, you got your air box. Um, right here is your dipstick. And what's unique about this side by side is that there is not an oil filter on it. Uh, this dipstick is where you check the oil, but also you can see it almost looks like a bolt around there you actually take the dipstick housing out to refill the oil in the machine. It takes less than two quarts of oil, so very, very little. You want to change the oil in it. It's going to make it last longer. This is the kind of video that I didn't get a chance to watch. I've looked all over after talking to Bighorn about, you know, having one of these things delivered here to the farm. There's not a lot of videos out there on these things. Uh, surprisingly, there's some sales videos and stuff, but I really want to show you what a uh, owner's experience would be like, right? But just wanted to make sure we could put some videos out here showing what this kind of machine is, how it works, and what the owner experience would be like. We look forward to really sharing more information with you about it. And as of right now, we're super green. All I can tell you is that I think that a rear view mirror would be nice. I may see if I can find a rear view mirror for this thing. Definitely needs a pew pew rack, right? I agree. <laughs> and then I'll probably take these things off because I just keep kicking them and eventually they're gonna break anyway. Anything else to add, Clay? Not really. <laughs> okay, well, uh, Bighorn, thank you for sending this to us and give us the opportunity to review this machine. Uh, some of us are going to enjoy it more than others, so some of us should say thank you. Thank you, Bighorn. Appreciate y'all watching this video. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm Joe the Farmer. I'm Clay. The Farmer. <laughs> Or how about this? I'm Little Joe the Farmer. There you go. Little Joe the Farmer. Uh, we'll catch you in the next one. We out.